Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, we are about to head in to our next adventure here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and unlock Dazzling Light. Uh, now, Hand of Light is not a bad idea for a Vestal, but it requires the Vestal to be in the like slot one or two, which means you can't heal. Uh, so I don't think we're in the business of making a battle Vestal. Although, when you're heading up against a bunch of unholy enemies, it might actually be, might actually be worth it. Who knows? Um, let's check out what we have on our new Jester. Uh, we definitely want to unlock this. This is Solo. We don't want Solo. We have Battle Ballad, which is great. Uh, we definitely want to get Inspiring Tune. That's a stress heal. Uh, and we already have Finale, which is fantastic. Um, so we're we're good to go. Um, now, Dirk Stab moves you forward one. Where do you need to be to do Battle Ballad? Essentially, you want to use Battle Ballad first. Work your way up to the front with Dirk Stab, and then finale your way back to the back of the back of the pack. That's what we're gonna try to do uh, with our jester here. But of course, our new people needs some a uh, naming. They absolutely need some naming. So uh, let's see. Have we gotten any other requests? Let's take a look at the old Discord. The class. Okay, Tim wants to be a Plague Doctor, so we'll try to save Plague Doctor for Tim. Uh, who else do we have in here? Uh, let's see. We have uh, Bunny. We did Bunny already. Let's get Exciting the Boss involved. As we hear a, uh, a horse entering the town. Um, and we are going to have to upgrade your combat skills, boss, because, uh, well, we will upgrade them later. But, uh, so we want to get this, huh? A strict regimen is yeah. paramount if one is to um, So if any of our characters are level one, we can upgrade, upgrade people. Same with, uh, we can buy them armor as well. Any quirks that we really care about here? Not really. Okay, so let's figure out who we want to be bringing. We have the Warrens. Is this the... The piggy place. I don't remember which these places are. Oh, we could go after the boss already. The necromancer apprentice. What would we get? Fortifying garlic. Sweet. I wonder if that'll change. Let's take a look around and see what we have in terms of uh Ooh, that cursed incense is is attempted. We have a short veteran, which is a little spooky for us right now. But we also have this this medium one. That uh, is just rip roaring and ready to go. And it is a level one thing. So I'm thinking we go for it. Um, and I'm also thinking now, you have all these skills. You have Breakthrough, which moves you forward, and then you can use Iron Swamp. Uh, have a back one skill? No, you don't. So essentially, Toast is going to be starting. Uh, Let's see, accuracy based damage mod. It just does damage. So he's going to be starting if we take Toast. He's in position two. We have Envy in position one. Envy will be moved back to position two. We want him to be able to move back up. I guess we'll go for it once per thing, and we'll see. Um, Adrenaline Lush, bad to pick up. Same with if it bleeds, because as of right now. Can't really do much else. I think we'll pick that up. Um, and we will definitely upgrade Wicked Hack and Iron Swan for Envy. Um, who else are we bringing along here? I think we'll have to bring Nystrom. So let's go ahead and upgrade Divine Grace. And upgrade... Do we want to buy something else? We want to buy the AoE heal as well. Um, and you know what? We use Judgment so much. Let's do that. So Nystrom's going to be a healer. Uh, and then we need Smiley along with us because that's our AoE thing there. That's the stun. Uh, and do we want to unlock something for him to do damage? I think Incision is a really strong pickup. That's what we're going to go with. Uh, and you know what? Let's keep emboldening Vapors. We'll put Battlefield Medicine away just because we have a Vestal along the ride. Um, we get 21% damage in 3 speed. So this is like a really terrible upgrade. We'll leave it alone. Let's get in there. 
We've got our two Hellions we are bringing. Nystrom as well as Smiley. This is a weird, weird comp. Um, we'll see if it works. So we've got Toast with If It Bleeds, Breakthrough, Iron Swan, Wicked Hack. Uh, we're going to take Bleed Out off of Envy. Um, which one is do we want? Yop. We want two. Can you use Yop from the second? Oh, you don't have Yop. Okay, so I guess we want one of them to have Barbaric Yop. Um, yeah. We want him to be able to do stuff from the back just in case and be able to do the deal damage to that third spot. So we're definitely going to need that on there. Even if it, uh, if that bleed doesn't hit, we're definitely going to want to have it. All right. Let's get some trinkets on some folks. Uh, let's see. So first and foremost, uh, the debuff chance. We don't really have any debuffs, do we? We're not going to be able to... What's your speed? Four. Ah. Who do we want to go slower? We don't really. Who do we want health and slower? We want Envy to be going first or second. We want Toast to go second. So we'll give him the debuff. Or no, excuse me. We'll give him the health stone. Uh, and then... What really debuffing are you? I guess a stun counts as a debuff. No, no, it doesn't. I don't have any debuffs. You do have a debuff, but it's on yourself. You have a debuff, but it's on yourself. So that debuff stone is useless to us. So we kind of have, like, no trinkets for this. Um, but at least we're heading back. He's missing some skills. You have all four. You have all four. Miley. But well, we didn't put Incision on Smiley. So we're going to take Battlefield Medicine off and put on Incision. And Sword, we want to take off a Nation, I think. Yeah, and we'll put on our Party Heal skill. Let's get some stuff. This quest involves camping, which is spooky. It means we buy a lot more than we normally would. Buy 16 food. We're gonna bring three keys, one holy water, two herbs, four band-aids, and I think we're gonna go with 16 torches. We're gonna keep it bright. We're gonna bring an anti extra anti-venom as well. And then we haven't been using anti-venom, so I'll just put that away. Let's bring an extra band-aid. Um, quite the quite the bunch of stuff we're bringing here, but uh, hopefully it goes well. And hopefully these guys all have good camping skills. Uh, it's, it's, you know, this is our first medium excursion. Uh, and we haven't really looked at any of their healing, their camping skills, so must be driven by we're trying a whole weird new meta here. The um, of our noble line. And we gotta complete all these room battles, so let's get started. What is it that your impulsive suffers intense need? Okay, so you're just, Envy, you're just gonna be touching shit all the time. Fantastic. I love it. We're already stressing out for some reason. Just walking through a hallway, man. Nothing wrong yet. Now we can be afraid. Okay, but we got a surprise off. That's really good. Always really good. Start it off. Play grenade. Impressive. A crit is good, and we landed blight. The blight is huge. Looking for a stun, though, on our acolyte. Nice. Oh, the skills are hitting. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, well, I jinxed myself. So, now the question is, what do we do? We could if it bleeds. I think we're done. Six damage. He's dead. Beautiful. Dodge there would have been great, but 19 stress. Death by Holy smokes. These two up front are going to get absolutely ripped. <laughs> My cutty's half health already. Okay, he's dead on his next turn. Maybe a dodge. You never know. Not so lucky. It's okay. He just, he's fresh from getting all sewn up and stuff. It's fine. Um, you know what? Let's give... Give you some damage. dodge. I appreciate that. Okay, you're doing a little bleeding. 
So we're gonna essentially say that you in VR are now just gonna you're just gonna try debuff. Keep on stunning. We'll try to heal you up as well. And uh, it's time for uh, Toast to start making some waves here. So 7 to 13 damage. We get exactly the 10 we need. Beautiful. And that's exactly what we were looking for. Getting him some stress heal from kills with that damage buff. That damage buff actually ended up being very important there. Into if it bleeds. We'll just hack away. We think our Vestal's gonna get an extra turn here. Let's not mess with it. Let's just take him out. Give them no quarter. All right, so right away, use a key. Oh, one of everything. But, uh, got some crests. We got some lusts. We got some all sorts of things. Owie, six damage and fifteen stress, dude. I don't need this. Okay, so. On a confession booth. Holy water? Ah! What happened? Nothing happened. Okay, so maybe that might be a stress reduction thing. He had no stress to leave. He, like, didn't have any stress to lose. That's probably what that does. So at least we know to use holy water on that stuff from here on out. Okay, you're gonna have to make use of our first shovel here. We get a torch for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least, you know, I don't mind him touching stuff. It does mean, however, we're not going to be able to use things on them. Even the he runs into a curio that's bad news. Passage. It's not the best for us. So that's a free room for us. Don't have to do anything in there. We do get more scouting, which is awesome. We are coming up on a room battle. Now, the one thing I've learned about uh, the camping stuff is, generally speaking... Why is there like heavy breathing in the background? That's terrifying. Seven damage! By evil intent. Oh. oh boy. Um camping earlier rather than later is usually a good idea. I think we're gonna camp after this battle. Food would be fun. But we get a map instead. Do we get the whole thing? We get a lot of stuff. Not quite the whole thing. Uh we might be putting Envy at Death's door like right away. <sighs> We surprise them even with a little light missing. Okay, this is this is important. Two stress units in the back here, both blighted. Oh god, why do you dodge every time? We need a big hit here. Let's go. To the pit. Beautiful, and we need this stun so bad. As the light gains purchase. Ten percent resistance. How? And purpose is made clear. Okay, well, he's down on his next turn, at least. Even though that tempting doblet just the worst. And our Hellions are getting ripped up. Slowly. God, he got another turn. They're so fast. This is how a life is taken. So, so fast. Okay, so. Let's give old Toast King some damage here. Uh, Indy's gonna yop here. Get the stun off. Nice, got them both. And uh, let's do some hacking. Seven damage, minimum damage there. That's a little rough. Um, party heal, two for everybody. Six heals is the max on our divine grace. We're looking for overall efficiency here right now. Okay, that's gonna kill. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them. Now we're just looking for damage. Four health left on this boy. Um, I'm gonna go for a heal here. I think we're gonna cut in. Yes, we will. Your uh, stun resist way high. Yeah, so we're gonna have to just kill him with this. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay, we're gonna have to leave that stuff, and uh, we'll open that in a second here. Let's camp first. A moment of respite, a chance to steal so, one. Lots of health, lots of stress heal horrors. by eating a lot of food. Now we need to use some anti-stress stuff. So, self only plus twenty-five percent damage in position one for Envy. He is going to be in position one, or we can just get some plus crit. Ghost here has the sharpen as well. 
Um, I'm cost three. Party. Oh, and we have 12 time for camping. Um, so what is this? Party loses accuracy, loses speed, but everybody loses 20 stress, and we... That's tempting. Although... Oh, you're at 19. But we lose accuracy and speed for the next four battles. But we'll see. That might be worth it. Heal one companion 50%, and then that companion gets a ton of extra healing. That'll cost four, though. Heals 15% with wound care. That's pretty good. We have pep talk. Companion 10 accuracy and 10 dodge. Prey. All companions. If religious, minus 15 stress. If not religious, minus 5. I don't know how to tell if they're religious. I don't think Hellions are religious. Dude, we're gonna party. Fuck it. Fuck it, dude. Um, okay, as such, so this debuff we have is accuracy and speed. So we don't think we don't have any accuracy. But we do. We can self-medicate somebody. Oh, but it's self only. You're not stressed at all. That's not really not really important, is it? Okay, well, you know what? I think battle trance is a pretty good idea here. We have six left. Do a three-point thing. Not incredibly opposed to using this, although... Well, I like the 33% healing received for one of the Hellions, to be honest. Or we could just sharpen on both the Hellions. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're playing Glass Cannon anyway. We might as well just go for it. So I feel, I feel strong and powerful. Let us carry on. We're favored by the gods this day. Nothing for it now. We've run out of wood. We do not get surprised in the night, which is always a good thing. Let's check out what we have in our chest. We get a key for our troubles. Awesome. And we get some scouting. Okay. Right into the foray. Um, let's go down. We're going to run into a, a hallway battle anyway here, so might as well. You being generous with our torches here. You moving. Don't touch the books. Do not touch the books. Alright. Oh, our first spiders. These guys are usually pretty weak. Uh, I imagine with all of our buffs right now, this should be relatively easy. Another abomination cleansed. And they also don't leave corpses, which is nice. Oh, unless you just dodge everything. Good stun, last Hellion. Oh, the accuracy. The lack of accuracy, you're so drunk. All right, what is this gonna do? Oh, a stun and a debuff. Minus blight resistance, that's good for the spitter. And now he's biting him, he's probably gonna blight him. Good thing we have anti-venom. That's oh, only one damage. But that might stack with this one. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and anti venom that business. Another one falls. Now if Envy gets a turn here, we are gonna wanna just go for a uh, go for a heal. Or go for a stun, I should say. Again, he's probably gonna die in one shot, but we also want to get this heal off. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. The fever. Good crit. Little stress heal for the squad. Seize this moment. Right, we're right back into Push another fight here. Tasks end. Chest. Okay. Restful boy at the back. Take him out as soon as possible. We could, you know what? Let's go for the stun in the back. Got it. Very, very nice. Um, judgment. Ooh. Nine. Is a rarity in the fever and you're just, you're just de-stressed now. That's amazing. Uh, Iron Swan is gonna finish that off. As the fiend falls. Beautiful. The fiend okay, let's, blossoms. let's get this going. We're gonna move. We're gonna lose damage on Envy because he's not in the front, but moving him up gets him a little bit of bonus. 
be a little, we're, you know, we're gonna play around with the mechanic we wanted to when we first started this. All right, so Envy is up. His damage is no good to us. We might as well go for a stun. He's got a huge damage debuff right now, so we might as well just go for some interesting stuff. Let's go for a party heal here. 12 HP total. That's a great roll. Uh, and then, how do we want to go about this? This is 3 to 6 damage, 4 to 7. 4 to 7. Confidence Beautiful. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay, now Toast has got what? Extra crit. And some lack of damage. So, we'll do that. A little bit of stress heal. Loving it. Uh, we've got a stun. Beautiful. Oh, it's going good. We're rolling now. Love it. Masterfully executed. Now, there's basically no chance we get a stun off for that. So we're literally just looking for the damage of the scare. Excuse me, the, the bleed. We're not getting the bleed off for that. We're literally just looking for yourself the skill to be used. Is a slow and insidious killer. Content to yours, 350. Beautiful. Sack. Okay, what else do we have coming up in here? Got a trap. We're going to have the, the heli in here try to... Open that. Who's this? Toast? Oh, we need to get our order going again. Oh, we had Envy do it. Oops. I guess it swapped back to the front unit. Good to know. We're going to be very, very nice with our Ooh, one of these things. Another surprise. Two stress units in the back. You know what that means. Iron Swan. So, let's see. We've got this butthole here. Resists the bleed. How unfortunate. Got a stun off. Nice. For another stun. Let's just keep stunning. Let's control him. We do not manage to, though. This guy's going to come to the front with that skill, though. Gets the bleed off on Envy. He should be fine, though. Deadweight might stun and push us back. Resists the move and the stunt. Nice. Hey. Okay. Alright. Well, he resisted the stun last time. Resist it again. Fine. Or he got the stun last time. I guess he took the stun. Should have probably gone for the blight there instead. That was probably my bad. But we dodged the move he got, so it doesn't really matter. Mod minus 50 crit mod C. I don't understand breakthrough. Like, it just does kind of bad damage. We crit with if it bleeds. Nice. He's done it again. Envy, my man. What a weird team comp this is. Little cheeky five heal. Start cutting bitches. 20 out of 29, 18 out of 24. All right, back to toast. Beach. All right, and then we have just uh, this poor fella back. He's got his uh, stun resistance up quite a bit right now. Oh, it's just damage time. Dr. Smiley just finishing things up. Beautiful. These nightmarish right. creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Okay, so we can see in the kind of like this little symbol next to this that we get a positive effect. We get a heal. And a big old stress heal. We cured debuffs? I don't know what we just cured there. Cured something. Do not have bandages. Yeah, we do. Oh, can't. Too late. Oops. Good work, me. Do not touch the books. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Oh. 
Oh, I love it when the stuns work. It's so nice. Okay, little baby bleed, that's fine. Take a little baby bleed back. Okay, we need to do three damage to that back guy. Thinking breakthrough will be perfect for. Him. He's dead. Good. Ooh, eight. No. Oh, but a crit heal on a max roll. Let's go. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Okay. More bleed. Ouch. And more heals, you know? At this point, we got a we got a rhythm going. We know what skills we're doing. We know the enemies we're fighting. Spent a good amount of time in the ruins. I think we're gonna have to go somewhere else in this uh, upcoming run. Little change of scenery, perhaps. Okay, good stuff there. This is gonna hurt though. Ooh. Another crit heal. Let's fucking go, Nystrom. Nice Alright. I'm gonna give speed to the Vestal. Now, that might sound weird. But it'll all make sense here in a second. Just trying to sneak out one extra heal onto Inby here. this stacks. It does! Plus 40% damage. Oh my god. That's crazy. You could just continue using that. Obviously it only lasts for like, what, two rounds? On the off chance that's stunned. Wasn't likely. Huge resist, but you know, stranger things have happened. As uh, move chart. So Where's my boy Inby? Resistance. Here you go. Might as well, right? Get our order back in, back in shape. And where are we? What are we walking into here? We are walking into a battle. In radiance, may we find victory. Okay, one stress unit. We got him surprised, which I love. We are going to blight back. Nice. Got them both. Go for a stun. Nice. Everything, everything coming up exactly the way we want it to. Ooh, except for that. Man, it's almost like clockwork, how that works. Oh, if it bleeds! Oh, how could you? We need three damage on this bastard. Just three. Good dodge. Loving it. Probably just gonna go for another Blight stack, to be honest. And that Graveyard Slash really does hurt. Yeah, we're gonna just go for another one. Got them both. Dead. Slow death. He is one health away, so we're probably gonna break through with Toast. Unforgiving. Are gonna need to pop off some heals here, though, onto Envy. Ooh, badly. That's lucky low damage roll right there. Go for the stun. Get them both. Very nice. heal real bad. We're gonna have to buy some time here for these heals. Most is sitting not so good right now. Um, who do we want? Let's just give this to that guy. Give it to the old Toast King who's sitting up front so he can hopefully take some people out here relatively quickly. Um, so who's 7? Okay, we do 7 to 14 damage. 6 to 12 on the bony. Gosh, it's like the same math, really. We need 2... It's a little, little less likely, likely on the cultist, though. We get the kill on the bone man. That's good for the chances. Oh, we get so lucky. That's comeuppance for all the stuns we've missed. It's the game. A little karma coming back our way, honestly. The ground quakes. And we didn't even need it. Of course the game gave us the stun. We didn't need it. Success. So and we're done. View. Beautiful. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay, so we're gonna try a bunch of stuff on this.
know what? Something tells me that it's holy water. Hidden treasures. Finding the stuff is only the first. 150 test. gold. Now it must be Get rid of the jade. Home. Um, let's keep going, guys. No reason to stop. We're sitting real pretty right now. 25 gold. Laden with loot. Of it. Are often low on supplies. Um, we have a health stone randomly. Oh no, we don't want to give it to him, do we? Give toast even more health. Oh, you can't have two trinkets. Uh, I guess we'll, uh... It's nice one. Ooh, got it. Hello. Okay, ten health on the Starbucks, man. Good resist. Oh, they, they're fast out of the gate here. For the blight. Nice. He does get his turn before we get to go. It means coffee time. Wow, they're fast. I guess we didn't surprise them. We've had a lot of surprise rounds. We've, we've been very lucky with that. That'll kill. This'll stun. Beautiful. We go for a party heal. Love it. Okay, so these guys are gonna come out of stun here, so let's start cutting them up. Seven, I think that's max. Good shit, Smiley. Okay, 6 to 12 damage, guaranteed kill here, or crit kills. Ooh, mineral. Unlucky. Another party heal. Alright, so, what are we looking at? We need max damage to kill the guy in the back. Let's play it safe. Get the guaranteed kill. Who knows, maybe we'll cut in before this guy gets a chance to go. Could kill with a max roll and the bleed, but not so lucky. Good dodge. Nice. Uh, I guess we can sneak in a, uh, a heal. Get ourselves full health. Why not? Ooh, there's the crit we needed. Nice. Yeah, we're, we're taking home so many keys. Promises success. Okay, we have no scouting up ahead, so we could be getting ourselves into crap here. The light. The promise of safety. Here. So let's make our way down this last hallway. See if we find anything. Stupid. Empty gold. Alright. Nice. Wealth beyond measure. Press. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. On the off chance that we run into a Iron Maiden, we'll be a little upset, but. Yeah, the off chance that that happens. Nothing to be found here. So let's just go through this hallway, pick up that curio. I'm tempted to go do this battle in that hallway, but we still have six food on everybody. It might just be worth it. A free torch. Littering That's not exactly the... It's not exactly the curio you're looking for when you're passing through. Let's just do it. Let's go for that last battle down here. And it's just three bonies. We'll be fine. One down. And they're not going to stress us out. They just do damage, so... Pretty much a a done deal here. Um, we will go for you know what? Who's uh who's going up next? Oh, see what you can do. Twenty extra damage. Twenty percent extra damage. Oh, and toast is somehow up first on this next turn. Not sure how that works, but we'll take the extra five hundred seventy-five gold. Be wary. Who? The bank. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Yeah, see, that's there's there you go. Let's let's quit with the pride. Get out while we still can. Room by and we get this very very nice first incense, which is going to be great, ours. absolutely great for our uh, marking and debuffing occultist. Basically, uh, it's going to be really really great for necro. Let's see, we should these should all be positive. Skilled gambler. 
Weldphobe is not ideal. Night Blindness, that's fine. Clutch Hitter, okay. And last but not least, Dud Hitter. Well, okay. <laughs> we did so well, and we get negative quirks still. <laughs> Feels bad. Dug for months, years. Necro recovered 56 stress. Toast is now an apprentice. Hellion. Rewarded with madness. Week five complete. Well, without further ado, what we got in the stage coach. Not a big fan of the antiquarians. We are, however, a big fan of the Houndmaster, and, and we will take him. He is a ruins tactician. A last gasp plus one speed of HP below 50. He's a he's panic for money. Five percent virtue chance. It is, of course, Beamber. Was almost the name I was trying to type. Please, I would like to rename Beamer. It's Beamer, the Houndmaster. Um, do they let you switch the outfits? Yeah, they do. Beamer is, uh, gotta give him the old blonde. Can we, can we make Necker a little more interesting in here? There we go. I like, I like that one a little bit. Bounty Hunter. What do we got? Number, we'll go with number two. Alright, before we end off just playing a, uh, a game of dress up, that is gonna do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next one.